That's right, it's Edinburgh Beyond. Good to see you again. Our next act is from Australia. Now, many Australians like to say that they're from the bush. But when you stop and think about it, we're all from the bush, aren't we? <laughs> Most men spend their entire lives trying to get back there as often as possible. <laughs> A whole year. Now, <laughs> but any Australian who wants to stay in this country has to prove they can do something that no one else can. And there's no doubt about that with our next act. Please welcome, ladies and gentlemen, with your clapping hands, it's Sarah Kendall. <laughs> How's it going? Yeah. Good. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's lovely to be here. I, um, I, I've actually started reading the Bible uh, recently, um, mainly because I feel sort of ignorant about a lot of our religious festivals. And, you know, I've just been reading a couple of pages each day. And I've got to say, it's a fucking great way to get some space on public transport. <laughs> just sit there with an open Bible, you know, underlining sections. <laughs> And occasionally make eye contact with another passenger and just go... <laughs> it was great. Last week, I nearly had the whole garage to myself. Seriously, it's just me and this other guy with a backpack and the Quran. <laughs> <laughs> I, do, I get very bored on public transport, you know. I'm not, I'm, you know, there's, there's, there's very little to do. And I have these things that I like to do to make it a little more interesting. Um, and if you want any of these, you can, you can totally have them. This one is my favourite. Uh, next time you're on public transport and the person across from you is reading a book, tell them you wrote it. <laughs> Just go over really confident and go, hi, I'm Ruth Rendell, hope you're enjoying it. <laughs> confident, give them a book signing. <laughs> you do have to choose a book carefully, though. You know, it's not going to work on the Bible. <laughs> Thanks for your support. God! <laughs> so, another thing I like doing, I often babysit for my neighbours. They've, they've got a couple of kids. And, you know, kids always want to know how old you are. You know, it's quite a fixation with kids, isn't it? So next time you're with somebody's kids and they go, how old are you? Just go, I'm five. <laughs> Why the hell are you so small? <laughs> and if they ask you how you got so big, just go smoking. <laughs> So, uh, I am from Australia. Uh, I've lived here for, for six years, though, and I've got to say, I, it took me a while to get a handle on the cultural divide between the North and the South in this country. You know, it's, it's not something they explain to you at, at customs. Um, uh, and I must say, uh, the biggest difference that I can uh, discern is that the, the radio jingles get longer the further North you travel. <laughs> I, I, I don't know why this is, but it's true. Like, if you're down in London, they're really, they're really to the point, you know? Like, London's heart, 106.2. And um, I didn't go over perform that. Um, <laughs> but as you, as you go further north, they really do, they get a lot more chatty, you know? Like, I, I was driving into Sheffield, and, you know, I turned on the radio, and the jingle was like, 106 to 108, it's Hallam the Fam, it's Keith in the morning, and Jenny and Sam in the air. Afternoon, three to five, talk back, love song dedication. Jenny's got a stepson and Sam likes tennis. <laughs> you really are waiting patiently for a song to come on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I do do a, a lot of travelling here you know, in this job. I, I found this, I don't know if anybody else is going to find this weird. I was on a train a couple of days ago, and the man sitting across from me was reading Nuts. <laughs> in public. <laughs> I, just, I just found that a little bold. Yeah. <laughs> you know the magazine I'm talking about, right? They, they've, they've got that commercial on at the moment. You know that, ladies? Don't ask for any help on a Tuesday! <laughs> and then they show women doing the sorts of things that we get up to when we're not being supervised. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
and don't ask for any help. I can't think of one situation where I would turn to that man <laughs> for any sort of guidance. <laughs> don't ask, I'm not going to. <laughs> yeah, unless I desperately need somebody to wank on my couch. <laughs> In which case, I imagine he's your go-to guy. <laughs> I, I, I also have a bit of a mean streak in me. I don't, I don't like that about myself. You know, sometimes I can really, you know, be a bit judgmental. I, I had this situation, I, I was on the bus recently and, and sitting in front of me um, was a slut. <laughs> <laughs> and you know when they're so out of control, you actually turn off your iPod <laughs> Because you're thinking, I've got to hear this. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be good. You know? and, and she was on her mobile phone. She was about 16 years old. And she was like, yeah, yeah, you know, so whatever. I, like sucked his cock, got a Bacardi breather. <laughs> and I'm like, you slut. <laughs> and she kept going. She's going, yeah, I did them both at the same time. What the fuck, whatever. And you know that when you're making eye contact with other people in the bus to share in the moment? <laughs> It's got the biggest cock, I don't give a fuck. It. And as she got up to get off the bus, I saw that she had one arm. You know, so I was like, hey, you go, girl. Good for you. Because obviously that fine line between feminist icon and skanky ho <laughs> is limb count. It's official. So. <laughs> Tell you what I hate, though. I, I hate it when I accidentally make eye contact with somebody whilst I'm eating a banana. <laughs> <laughs> Such a bad moment, isn't it? You know, it's just as you get it into your mouth. <laughs> yeah, you make eye contact with some guy in a trench coat. <laughs> Your head, you're thinking this looks really bad. <laughs> Just finish the banana as quickly as you possibly can, <laughs> so you really go for it. <laughs> Thank you. You guys have been awesome. Have a great night. Thank you.